They need to make a stand now. It's, it's best of three. So Murray State could afford the loss here and not be out of it. But you, you lose on a map two, and you're just making it harder on yourself because then you've got to get three wins in a row. And here we are on King's Row in the streets of London. Murray State gets to pick the map, which means that Savannah gets to pick offense or defense. I have a feeling they've chosen defense first. And Murray State again running Brostradamus on the Reinhardt, Aziz on the Zarya. On her switching over to his May, which he's become famous this season for. Bonsai on the Reaper. Flav Filth on the Baptiste and Quote on the Brigida. So interesting to see. We've seen them run this meta, uh, this composition, before. Uh, it's been in preseason matches, and personally I thought it was a bit of experimentation. I'm kind of nervous to see how it goes here. We have seen Quote uh, just turn on that Brigida play and make something happen. But against the double shield of Savannah, I don't know. They're going to have to be aggressive. I hope I'm wrong. Murray State is going to have their work cut out for them if they're not ready. You see Vicari on the left. He's posted up, ready to go. Now, they do have Kindle Cat to May, probably on that right-hand side. There's an ice wall. but Oh, well read by Murray State. And her gets the ice wall to protect him. Brostradamus is bubbled. Now they're pushing on the right-hand side of the statue. That's a, sh a shield down already for Savannah. Murray State, they can be aggressive here. Hard to get some range with that Reinhardt. They're going to fire strike just to get the damage. We might see a charge coming in here in a second. There's the rotation from Aziz and Brostradamus. The shields and the bubbles rotating each other. Halted together, Murray State. They're going to have to be careful. Ice wall to push Savannah forward. Now they're aggressive. They're being aggro. Murray State, they've struggled with this before. Vakari, Iron Lion Door getting the picks. There's two more picks for, uh, for Savannah. Murray State falling. And that might be a team kill. Uh, and her does make it away. And some damage done. We do see, if you look at your top, we'll do an alt check. Looks like Lucio at 70%. Rose already has the coalescence. Sick Beats and Iron Lion. Or, excuse me, Sick Beats and Vakari both at 66, 67. Iron Lion almost there. But Murray State has two. They have the Shatter. They have the coalescence. They can push forward here. They're going to sneak through that hotel. Here comes the Shatter. The shield comes up. Doesn't get it, just inches, a game of inches. And unfortunately, the Shatter doesn't go off, and Vakari makes him, it punishes him for it. There's some coalescence. Who's going to come out with some frags from this one? Nobody's really sure. Quotes just getting backed into a wall. Tries to shield bash, but he's going to fall and her down as well. And Murray State struggling early. Bonsai gets picked apart. And what can Murray State do here? The Shatter they needed did not happen. They have to build that back up. That's the only way I see them getting out of this. They might be able to perform a, a Graviton Surge, uh, but they don't really have anything to combo it with ex unless they let Bonsai get his ult. But that's, uh, you know, it's only two minutes, but that's a lot of time. Here they're going to come around the right-hand side of the statue. They don't see Vakari up top. They've got to know he's there. He's coming down from behind. He's going to pull off the ult. Brostradamus rotates the shield just in time. Murray State, they've read it just in time. Flying Fishy takes out Brostradamus. And now Quote falling as well. And even though they read it, their attention was just divided. And now they get punished for it. They're retreating. And the ice wall is going to make it hard for him to retreat. Thank goodness. On her puts up one as well. But Savannah, no, they're just not going to let it die. They're going to go around that side of the bus. And Murray State... Basically, let's consider that a team kill, even though it's not officially. And they are in the deep end now. One minute, 35 seconds. And Savannah smartly hanging on to their ults for that fight. They've got the Graviton or Gravitic Flux. They've got the Blizzard. They've got the Supercharger and the Sound Boost. Murray State, only one ult. They can't pop it here. There's nothing to combo with it. We see Bonsai. He's faded or teleported to the back line. Now he's using his fade to just try and get away. Here comes the Blizzard to just keep Murray State at bay. Brostradamus gets bubbled in time. Can he back up and not fall? Flawfield with a coalescence to keep him alive. And now Murray State is divided on two separate sides of the map. But there's a Blizzard from out here. This might be big. This might allow Murray State to pick it up. Kindle Cat on the outside of it. She's not falling yet. Brostradamus with the charge. Doesn't connect with anybody, but three down for Savannah. Murray State might be able to make something of it here. They've got the shield up. It's damaged. It's almost gone. Rose just ticking away the health, but he's bubbled, and the Moira's going to have to back off. She's going to fade, but she's there with Vakari, so why not just take the engagement and allow Savannah to get back in time? Murray State almost to a full tick, and here comes Savannah. You can see their outlines. Vakari has done a great job of just keeping his team alive, and Savannah it looks like they're going to throw the rock and back up. They're going to let him take it. Murray State's going to get, what, two minutes, two and a half minutes out of this? 
Two minutes, 53 seconds on the clock. Murray State has to push forward here. They're going to leave one player on the payload, and they're going to push up to this alleyway. Murray State can make some good time here. We see Bonsai outline on the right-hand side. He has his ult. He's going to need to save it here. Not the time to use it because Savannah has pushed back Murray State. There's an ice wall from Quote, or excuse me, from Anher. He's going to fade back. And now Murray State, as soon as they kept that first pointer, pushed back. And it's not looking good for Murray State this evening. They're pushed back into the spawn. We've seen this happen before. Murray State probably needs to rotate. Savannah is going to set up. Yeah, right here, right on the point. They choose to be aggressive. And this is Murray State's greatest weakness. There's Vicari. Murray State down low. Let's see if Savannah reads the play. Now they're coming up top. They're coming through that pavilion. Here they come over by the tree. There's the shield from Savannah to prevent that damage coming in. Brostradamus on the back side of the point. There's a... No, I thought a coalescence here for a second. Halt on the point. And a Gravitic Flux. There's the combo. Alt's coming in. Flavsfield's coalescence is keeping them alive, and they're able to push forward some, and Savannah's going to retreat. Probably not too far. They're going to set up the shield. And now with Sigma being down, Murray State can really punish them here if they're careful. If they can take out that May, that's going to be the pick to make. Sick Beats Bro probably going to fall. He does. Kindle Cat gets Bonsai with the melee. They need to get that May. She's been troublesome. Get that May. She's down. Now push. Push, push, push. Murray State can make some excellent time here. Minute 20 second. They need to make it to the blue tick on the top line. The blue marker. And Murray State's going to aggressively push up. Let's see. I think Savannah might either let them get there or get very close. They're going to just let the time tick away. There's no reason to engage and feed, you know, allow Murray State to build their ultimate charge here. And all the Murray State players pretty much on the point because they need to make the time. 60 seconds remaining, and here is where the fight is going to take place. Aziz ready for a sneaky Graviton. Let's see if this pays off. There's a Blizzard. There's a Graviton Surge, so they can't punish on the Blizzard. This is going to be big. Rose with a Coalescence. Murray State just trying to stay alive. Quote and Brostradamus fall. There's the ultimate, but shut down right away. Bonsai gets killed by Rose with a Coalescence. Flying Fishy taking down Flatfield. And her down as well. Team kill. 30 seconds remaining. Murray State, I don't know if they can make this happen. And the aggressive hold, pretty even hold, or ults. Vakari is there, ready for them. Murray State coming up top. And I don't think they have the time. Nine seconds, eight seconds, they need to have somebody touch it right at the last second to get overtime. There's Quote, he's using his speed to get on. Bonsai coming in, flanking. He's gonna get a couple things to the blizzard, maybe. He gets taken down, oh my goodness, Sick Beats Bro, with the frag, with the kill. Murray State, I don't know if they're going to come away with this. Brostr Brostradamus, though, getting the kill in Anher as well. So Murray State, they might be able to turn it around and make it to that second point. I don't believe what I'm seeing here. Murray State has turned it around, and they're going to push forward, and they're going to take this next point and extend the time on King's Row. Excellent play from Murray State. I did not think that was going to happen. Bonsai's flanking Bastion once again, saving Murray State. Just when they needed it, I thought when he was taken out, that was going to be it. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, we are playing Savannah this round. Savannah College of Art and Design, and there's a Gravitic Flux coming in. Murray State all in the air. They're going to get damaged. Bonsai just trying to put in the fire while he's in there. He gets taken down by Vakari. His Reaper has been excellent today. And Murray State now in trouble again as Vakari gets a double on Aziz. Murray State now separated Vakari with a triple kill. And now under a minute, even though they made it and extended the time, think it's going to be enough. Murray State needs to mentally be preparing to make a, uh, a, a stout defense here. And here they come, 38 seconds remaining. Can Murray State pull out something special here? We've seen it happen in the past, and we need it now. This is only map two, but you don't want to have to win three maps in a row to close out this stage of the competition. It all comes down to this moment on map two. Here we go, 23 seconds remaining. There's the ice wall to provide cover, but nobody can benefit from it because they're back so much. Blizzard from Anher. Oh, who's it gonna get? There's so much going on with the ults. Now we've got Iron, he's down, Rose is down, Sick Beats is down. Murray State frozen now as well. Are they gonna get picked off? There's Vakari in the background. They've gotta watch him, he's got his ult. He's gonna come in at the last second. Nobody even knows he's there, he's sitting there. He's sitting on the point, nobody sees him. Oh my goodness, and now he's gonna fade and just delay. 
They need to take him out. They've got to know he has the ult. He decides to save it. I mean, why not? It's overtime. I'm surprised he didn't use it, but here comes Savannah. They're being aggressive again. I'm not going to get a breath in because this is going to be intense from the end. There's the sound boost, the sound barrier from Flying Fishy, who's just, again, Murray State is not communicating. They're, they're not calling these people out on the back line and not paying attention to them. And there's a boot to just seal the victory. Oh, Murray State back on it again, but Rostradamus is frozen, and that's it. Savannah will take, well, I mean, they stop Murray State on round one. I, I can't say take round one. That's round one over. And that point right there. That is where Savannah has to make it. If they can make it basically to the distance Murray State did, it's map two is over. And Murray State will lose map two. So Murray State is going to have to put up a defense here. Are they going to run the Reinhardt again? Or are they going to be forced into this double shield? Thank you to all the viewers in chat, 11, view or 11 viewers watching the stream right now. Let me know if you notice anything wrong with the audio. Anything going on. Thank you guys for joining us. And unless this is just bait, Vakari will be running uh, the uh, not the Symmetra, the Sombra, Kindle Cat on the Farah. That might be bait because we see the double shield. But you never know. And Murray State sticking with the same composition again. And I just don't know. Uh, I just don't know if that's going to do it. And I don't know if Kindle Cat stays on the Farah. I don't think Murray State has read that. But that might be bait. Vakari stayed on the window or the Widowmaker due to the sightlines. Kindle Cat has stayed on the Farah. Rocket's coming in early. They're not going to be prepared to deal with this. Murray State has struggled with some good Farahs in the past. Farah just going to take away Bonsai Tuna, able to just pick away there, and Aziz cleaning up Iron Iron Lion. And thanks to the Ice Wall and Reaper play of Murray State, they're able to stabilize, and they're going to use that uh, Reinhardt shield to kind of push him forward and take a little bit of damage and then rotate out with the Orisa. So instead of the Zarya, we've switched over to Arissa, and I do think that's probably a smarter move. Reinhardt might be a little more viable on defense. Murray State's read this play. I don't know if they're going to get the halt out. We've seen this happen before. Kindle Cat playing aggressive with the pharmacy combo there. They're going to go over to the right-hand side to try and split. Looks like the halt brings out Sick Beats. The Ice Wall prevents anybody from helping until the last second, but they're not able to capitalize. Iron Line and Kindle Cat getting two kills. The DPS down are down for Murray. There's an Immortality Field coming in, keeping Murray State alive, and now they're being pushed back inch by inch to the point. And this might be a quick first point for Savannah, for the Bees. Murray State getting just decimated here. Quote's going to have to fade. And there's the first point for Savannah. When Murray State needed basically uh, almost the full time to do it, Savannah has done it in no time. And there's the aggressive pharmacy. That Farah and Mercy combo brings the gameplay vertical. And Murray State, you can tell they're at a loss. They've switched Fly Filth over to the Ana for those long-range heals. But I'm not sure what else they can do. They probably need a hit scan to take out the Pharah. They maybe need the Sigma for the aerial shields. I don't know. I'm not sure. Uh, but Murray State calmly pushing forward here. Maybe they're ready for this. They they know what they want to do. Quote, taking out Kindle Cat. So maybe they don't need the hit scan. Maybe they just need the Moira. Justice raining from above. There we go, Savannah pushing forward. They're going to Murray State make it hard, but Savannah once again just rolling them over. And Murray State, you can tell they're just kind of at a loss on what to do. They're not ready for it. This aggressive play for Savannah. Payload inching forward. Look at the time bank Savannah has right now. And 
Here we go. Can they make it to the second point? There's a blizzard coming in on her, freezing the Savannah Bees. Can they take them out? And that is a big wipe coming in. Well played by Murray State, but a lot invested. You see the blizzard and the coalescence as well. So now Murray State, while they've done that, well, it looks like, fortunately, Savannah doesn't have the ult economy up yet either. Murray State just trying with this Bastion here. That's their change of plan here to take out that Farah. And you can see successfully it's pushing the Farah back. So interesting strategy from Murray State to put in the heavy fire on Kindle Cat, who's now been separated by the Mercy. Mercy getting the revive on Sick Beats on the Orisa. Bonsai playing aggressively. He gets taken out. They don't have the Mercy to revive. Savannah able to push forward here. I don't know if Murray State has what it takes in this map, in this moment. Two minutes, 30 seconds, and Savannah has taken the next point. They've extended it to four minutes to make it to that spot. Can Murray State stop them and pull off the impossible here? And here they come. Savannah, inches away. Counting down the time. Murray State is going to push forward here. They need to have somebody touch that payload. It's not enough to engage at the front. And there's Aziz trying on the Reinhardt to push forward, but ult's coming in. Team kill to finish it off. And Murray State falling in map two. That's Savannah two. Murray State zero. And Savannah needs one more.